presenting the latest episode in our video series where we explore unconventional applications of Ziva. In this installment, I'll demonstrate how I expand the core concept for my previous video leveraging simulation for hand animation to encompass various body parts. Let's begin by examining a straightforward yet impactful way to implement this. This simple shot with run-up is in a noticeably rough state. The elbow could still use some work to keep it from penetrating the rib cage. As you could probably imagine, an arm ripping through all that simulated tissue would fail pretty miserably. Instead of investing simulation time into something destined to fail, consider integrating an insurance measure into your pipeline to modify the animation to let the arm collide gracefully with the rib cage before the muscle step. Essentially what you see here is an underlying set of very rigid joint tissues which pivot on simple attachments, binding it to all or one axis depending on how many vertices are bound. Softer tissues attach to these joints to create a collision volume as well as leverages its volume retention to help limit joint rotation. Next, let's look at what you can do to expand this simple idea further, maximizing the use of Ziva's physics engine. Here's a bear run with Geo direct from the animation rig from a student at Monster Emporium named Martin Fernandez. Monster Emporium's animation program specializes in teaching animal motion. Upon enrollment, they provide a comprehensive suite of tools including professional animation, fur, lighting, and Ziva rigs to highlight the work you've done. You can find more info about the program at MonsterEmporium.com. Thanks again to Anton Blake and Martin for allowing me to use your animation for this example. Why do I bring up this bear? There are plenty of scenarios where character animation is primarily driven by external forces, like for instance, if Ivan were to ride this bear. For this, the only animation required was a transition from base pose to the bear riding stance. Then physics handled the rest. It was so simple to execute after the first rider, I did a couple more for fun with the same setup. Ivan's dynamic rig was set up and tuned for the next test you'll see when one morning, I was sent the bear. I did some minor tweaks to the dynamic rig and finished Rider 1 two days later. Rider 2 and 3 both successively finished in one day. With access to a compute farm, this could have gone even faster. The biggest time suck about animating this manually would have been all the interaction between body parts like fingers and the deforming geo, which would have required my undivided attention. This was simulating on a different computer while I was working on the shorts environments. For this next test, I made Ivan a fun little dynamic accessory. The cart, character, and cones are fully dynamically rigged using Ziva. The simulation is driven by a 3D curve to find its drive path along with an animation curve for speed, and two more curves which drive tissues to pull the gas and brake. The direction the cart steers defines as a turning steering wheel. Front suspension functions as it should against this bumpy track. Wheels turn based upon actual friction against the track surface. Ivan's head turns with the turns to look where he is going. Depending on how close he is to camera, we can layer in some character-specific animation before the simulation. For the last test, let's take a look at the specific reason I built this setup. In my current short film project, it requires quite a few bored and unenthusiastic background passengers on an unstable train where their primary animation should really be driven by the movement of the train. The only animation I supplied for the shot was the run up to pose for each character and the breathing settings I chose from the animation rig. This should save me tons of time and make them quite dynamic to watch on screen. Thanks for watching.